All right, guys, today's the day we're going to do our network upgrade. Um, here's a rat's nest that I'm getting ready to go through and remove. We've got some coax cable. We've got um, some power cables that are just sitting out here. I just did an updated video uh, last week of what we were looking at. Um, as you can see, there's already a Ubiquiti 60-watt uh, um, uh, switch that I just put in last night just playing with it. It's not fully um, Activated even though there's a blue light, but we'll get into that soon um, So here's the before picture um, We'll clean all this up. I've got my Ubiquiti cloud key coming in and another access point later today After we get that installed, we'll clean this up and then I'll be back uh, to show you the after uh, After effect of this being cleaned up the upgrades, why I did the upgrades, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, here we go. We upgraded the system. Um, we're now on a primary Ubiquiti um, switch system, meaning uh, the old miniature uh, managed, I shouldn't say miniature, but the Netgear managed, it was a GS108 uh, switch. Here's a port switch. That one, I removed it. Um, the unmanaged switch, I'm still using this Monoprice 8 port switch just to run uh, the Sonos, some local cables down here and local uh, um, Cat6 cables here in the basement. Um, we still have the MyCloud 4TB uh, over here, which is my, my NAS. Um, and then I have another switch that is on the opposite side of the house with this purple wire here. That's a... Uh, uh, shielded twisted pair um, cat six cables running to the other room. So let me try to get up here so you can see what we have going on. Um, so we've got an eight port switch here. First port is your FIOS uh, in from the FIOS router. I'm still using the FIOS um, modem as my uh, primary router for right now. Then we have um, the second port is going to my room. Third port's going to the my cloud, and the fourth port is going down here to this one. Um, then we can see that this is labeled for my one access point we installed. This is for the um, second access point. So this is the AC in wall access point we put upstairs which poe powered this is for the ac light which is down here right on the other side of this wall and then this one is going to the uh, cloud key gen 2. Um, so i added four pieces of equipment and i tore out a lot so um, you can see it's besides this cable right here i'm going to zip tie these up get these all out of the way but for for the most part i grab these and pull these out of the way you can see there's there's not much there. So walking out here, I'll show you what we ripped out all this cabling, which was clumped up here. So that's all gone. Here's the AC light on the ceiling. And here's still my uh, fire router, which is going behind the wall. So again, this is just a little quick update showing you the before here's the after it took me almost all day just waiting for um, the cloud key and the ac and wallet come in um, still going to do a couple more tidying up right here before i end this video uh, after i zip tie these things i will come back with a final review so here's the pieces of equipment that i got to add to my system unify ac light which was right above us that's our AC in wall. Um, it has one PoE pass through if I want to add something additional to the network. But then there is also one um, Ethernet uh, gigabit drop on the bottom of it, which I'm using for one of my set top boxes. There's a Unify switch with uh, 60 watt. So it's uh, four is PoE and four is non PoA, but all of them are automatic switching. So they will switch on and off. Um, the last four will switch to uh, a non-passive and just disable the PoE 
if there's not a PoE device installed. And then here is the Cloud Key Gen 2. Um, I bought these from different retailers. The Cloud Key was 168 on Amazon. The in wall was uh, around 90 bucks. This was 77, and that was uh, 100 bucks. Um, that was Best Buy, Micro Center, and both of those were Amazon. All right, last part of the video. Finally got a. Uh, had to run one more little cable right here uh, to a set top box that's right here on the other side of this wall because it's Ethernet, not Wi Fi, since the Wi Fi on the Fios router is disconnected. But here you go, got it all buttoned up here um, on the top of this, which is really cool. You can see activity lights for all eight, they're green, which means it is uh, gigabit. If they were orange, it would be a 10 100 uh, meg, so it's a thousand meg. And then on four through eight, if it's orange on top, it shows you if there's PoE going to it uh, to power over Ethernet. So if it's injecting it, you will see um, the orange light up. I did test this out. I plugged the little non um, managed switch up here into PoE uh, 5 and the um, green light came on and the orange light went out, which means it just disabled the PoE like it was supposed to. Um, and then here's the Gen 2 uh, cloud key again. It shows you 28 devices with two access points um, connected right now. And that's the local IP here on my network. So there you go, I zip tied some stuff up. I'm really happy with it, it's a lot cleaner. Um, mounted the Sonos here instead of letting it sit up here. Um, that makes a Sonos mesh network in the house. Really don't need them, um, but it's easier than um, setting one Sonos speaker up and then having to mesh it from a, from a specific speaker. That just does everything for me. There it is. Tell me what you guys think.